welcome back to the Pulse Check Podcast. Today, we got a special one for you. My boy, listen, I think we got, no, no, I was going to say first time guest, but not first time guest, right boys? Adrian and Aiden, you guys have both been on the podcast before, just separate times, correct? Correct. What about you, Were you on together ever? No. I don't think so. I think you guys were both on. I was on the on. one with the CDL thing. Mm. Wait, CDL? Uh, we, we did a podcast on CDL? Yeah, there's some beef. Crazy CDL yeah. beef. Or right, that's when Ben pulled up. Ben did some, yeah. <laughs> oh, I remember that one. I remember that. Like the CDL versus Warzone. I remember that. I remember that. Yo, but boys, listen, man. We got a lot to talk about. Guys, as always, we got my boy J God Ebates here, boys. Ebates, J God, how are we feeling today? How are we feeling today? Feeling great, man. Feeling great. J God, you're muted, by the way. <laughs> hey, but look, guys, we we haven't had a podcast in about a week. Yeah, about a week, give or take. We've um taken time to really kind of like this is the way it normally is. Whenever the whenever ranked comes out, new season of ranked, I don't ask anybody to be on the podcast for quite literally at least minimum like a week because these guys, especially these two, are grinding their asses off just trying to like get number one. What are you guys ranked right now, boys? Both of y'all. Uh, yeah. I'm number four. Number four? And Adrian? Uh, I'm 16. Okay, okay. 16. And then, yeah, you guys I are just was at 60 yet, though. Oh, okay. My man, my man been grinding. Okay, Moving. I see. <laughs> but look, man, we got season three just came out uh, a week ago. And I want to kind of get y'all's thoughts on everything and see what y'all think. Um, boys, that's kind of the first topic at hand today. I want to talk about the, the quote unquote elephant in the room. We were all wondering how is Rebirth going to play out? How is Rebirth? Jay got made some pretty, some pretty good predictions on how he thought everything was going to turn out. And I'm going to be honest. My man was spitting facts as usual. Uh, but boys, Aiden, Adrian, let's not talk about ranked yet. Let's just talk about Rebirth as pubs. I don't know how much you guys have been playing it at all. What have you guys thought about Rebirth pubs and how how has like has has it changed from what you guys remember back in the day in Warzone 1? Does it feel the same? Does it feel any different? Talk to me. Aiden, you can go ahead and go first. Well, we might just have to pass this one to A, guys, because I haven't <laughs> played one fucking Rebirth pub yet. <laughs> Really? No I way. Haven't, I haven't played oh, one bro. Rebirth pub yet. You should definitely try the new LTM uh, because like oh, you yeah. can get the like the fast reload. You get to see targets if they're in your line of sight. Like, they'll be outlined. So I can already. I can already do that. You know how it is. <laughs> uh, and then um, like you get more loot. It's fast pace. You can get like a PR, like an insane. Obviously, the first match would be a PR. But um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Nah, I'll try that out, but you probably have to ask A a little bit more because like I've only played rank so far. Okay, all right. All right. Hey, what about you, pops? How has it been for you, man? Um, honestly, like I don't think there's enough people on the map. Okay. Um, playing like regular public matches, solo quads is cool, especially now that they brought the new contract out. It's it's a lot more ratty. There's a lot of I don't know, just a bunch of stackage, more stackage than there was uh in Warzone One. But I personally don't think it doesn't hit the same. Okay. I think they need to. I think they need to get away from the the bringing back like old maps aspect and create something new. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I can I can yeah, kind of agree ahead. with that because I, I feel like I feel like playing. I, we all I think we can all agree for the most part that Verdansk or you know MW 2019 Warzone was the best. So when we go from that and then they like remaster one of those maps on this game that like isn't as good i feel like it just like we have you know we, we played the good stuff on the with the good movement and it's like now we're playing this good map with this like worst movement worst guns whatever so yeah. i don't know that's the way i look at it like the car 98 i feel like that was like essential for rebirth bro you're like b hopping with the with the car yeah. 98 that, yeah. that was so fun it's like i don't know it's just not the same vibes anymore Okay, well, I guess th th that's before i'm gonna jay got any bits i'm gonna ask you the same question uh but before i do what are y'all's thoughts about obviously Verdant's then? Do you guys think it should come back? Do you guys think it shouldn't? Like obviously the rumors are mm -hmm. next year Verdant is coming back um for the integration of the new game. Now, are you guys do you guys think like Treyarch should just cook up a completely new map? Or are you guys okay with Verdant's coming back? You first day. Eh? Ah, oh, that's so rough because I feel like it's the same thing. It's like if you bring Verdansk back and you have I just feel like at the end of the day, if it's not MW 2019, people are, it's just, it, people are gonna shit on it. Like, if you throw over dance skin right now, I think people are gonna play it for a little bit and just complain, like, personally. I could just see that happening, but, I mean, at the end of the day, you can't please everyone. You make a new map, people say it sucks, the OG one was better, or 
bring back for dance can they either change stuff or it's the movement isn't back it's not exactly how it was people complain so i'm personally okay with both i think for dance was amazing i think you could still get a lot of content out of it and i also wouldn't be mad at a new map i feel like i i actually appreciate when they go out of their way and they try something new because i think it's ballsy and i think the easy route is just remastering something that was right. like that big so I, I would be okay with the new map as well okay what about you adrian um if they were to bring bring verdansk out if they do like 100 players like yeah i might be fucking drooling on myself they definitely <laughs> they definitely need like 150 i remember there was like rumors going around about 200 player fucking lobbies that like, was that a game mode insane. yeah um but I think I'm with Aiden for the most part. I prefer new. I like when they go out of their way and cook something up. Like, for instance, Almazra. I thought Almazra was a, a great map, but the the movement mechanics were kind of I don't know. I wouldn't necessarily say like ass, but hey, it was just too so slow pace, in my opinion. Like if we had this movement with Almazra, I think that would have been a great game. Right. No, mm -hmm. I, I agree 100%. Like, like right now, I'm kind of thinking about, okay, if the rumors are true, obviously we all want Verdansk back. But I think what would be even better, right, than that is like, if, what if Verdansk is just a supplementation of BR or a supplementation, or for example, what if Rebirth is just a supplementation to Resurgence, right? And we keep those maps that quote unquote are nostalgia, but then they cycle through the, a new map. So, I mean, if there's any studio that I think could make a really good BR map, it's Treyarch. And correct me if I'm wrong, apart from um, uh, Blackout, they haven't made a current gen map, right? I don't think mm -hmm. they have. Right. Think so. No, but uh, they made the original Rebirth, which was Alcatraz. Right, which, and then people loved it. it and was even their before favorite. that, it was Zombies, so. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they cooked on that map like 10 years ago. <laughs> so like I, I i definitely think low key it would be kind of cool bro like I, I i don't know how rotating maps would work i don't even know if that's anything that would ever happen but like in in the perfect scenario like think about how dope it would be if we had one like one team for donsk for like this hour then the next hour it's whatever treyarch's new map then the next map almazra then for resurgence it's rebirth and then after that it's vondel but then after that it's a completely new one right like uh i agree with you guys i wonder how i don't know how i feel kind of like the rebirth hype is already dying down like it's been it's been a week um yeah. but like for, again jay got it trust me i understand actually like I know there's like crazy people. I'm saying me personally, I'm speaking on my own opinions. I feel like the hype has already died for me. And I feel like for a lot of the uh, creators that I've talked to for the casual audience, probably not. Right. And so that's just my opinion. I'm scared that Verdance is going to have the same thing because all I've ever seen is everybody hate on fucking rebirth for the last week. But again, SPMM was kind of cranked. Ebates, J God, what do you guys think? So far from like, Jay God, I know Jay God really wants to talk, but yeah, yeah, go ahead. No, Jay go God. for it, go for it. Um, dude, I, I, I feel like I, I really disagree. I think Rebirth has been insane. I feel like numbers up are up okay. on YouTube, TikTok, everything. This is what I'm gonna say. I think, I, think, <laughs> I, think, I think Rebirth ranked was a bad idea, and I said that before it came out. I think mm -hmm. that the the golden ticket here is that we got Rebirth back in the pubs. I love Rebirth pubs, man. Mm -hmm. It's like it's actually so good. Yeah. Um, but I do wish they did. If we're gonna stick with Resurgence ranked, I would have rather done ranked on Vondel. And then just give us like rebirth pubs. I yeah. think the whenever they announced rebirth ranked, I told myself I wasn't gonna play it. I was like, dude, I'm just gonna stick to pubs because like, you know, I don't think the rebirth ranked. Obviously, rebirth its map itself isn't a very competitive map. We've had tournaments on that game, and it just in in general, it just wasn't a competitive map. So, um, dude, in my opinion, what I think they're trying to do right now is they they I feel like they realize they really fucked up Warzone two. They lost a lot of their OG players. I think they're trying to bring back rebirth. Kind of build a little bit, bring back for dance, build a little bit, and then full send like the future. I think they really right. fucked up Warzone 2, lost a lot of people, and I think this is like a rebuild. Okay. All right. Jay, what about you, Ben? Yeah, I agree. Basically, what uh, Ebate said. Uh, like, even when before the rank dropped, I thought I was surprised that they would have done it. It sounded like one of the leaks that we had earlier on, they basically, like, several months before Rebirth was official, um, they basically said that, like, the game. Whatever was supposed to come out got put on the back burner, all in on rebirth, yeah. and that's why it was expedited so quick. Right. Uh, obviously, if we, we steam numbers aren't everything, but the numbers did reach an all-time peak for the year with rebirth dropping. Obviously, they had a free access weekend, but spoiler, 
every month they have a free access weekend. So <laughs> we had three of them bitches before this one, you know? So <laughs> it's like at, the, at this point, it's like one of those things that um, I obviously the hype is there. I, I saw the streams obviously on the first day. And even then the, the, the ranked, if you're in the top rank, your viewership goes up. Uh, maybe mm. not as much for people with already large viewerships, but I'm sure you even notice it yourself, uh, Aiden, when you're at fourth or second, first, it, it's it's higher. It's just how it goes. So I yeah. think there's interest in that, even though the mode is a little bit more third party, it's harder to be consistent, which is good for a ranked mode. It should be hard. Yeah. Um, I think the map as a whole, they've changed enough. Uh, I don't think sniping would be good if, if we had the car 98 is so broken. Like, uh, like if you actually look at the comparison to what we have now and then that's just is so broken i do agree that we should have like something like a bunny hop or some more dynamic movement but i think that the existence of something like even mountaineer makes the gameplay way more dynamic to mm. be able to escape and push that we just did not have in warzone one right there's so many times you would jump you'd have to pull your shoot you're automatically dead yeah. you would splat so we remember the fondness of hey you hit a hard ass bunny hop and then you deleted oh. them and it just looked clean in the clip but you also falling off and having to pull your shoot and have nothing to do being asked out. We don't remember those quite as much, even though they definitely did happen. So I think there's differences in the game, but overall it's kind of like they're trying to recover from that hangover. Like uh, eBay said, right to a certain extent that they burned that. And I think once Verdance comes back, if it comes back, hopefully it does. I mean, they, they've let this go on too long for us to believe it's coming back. Yeah. <laughs> they have to do, like, hey, just so you know, it ain't happening, you know? <laughs> People are going to be pretty pissed. Um, what I will say is that uh, I, I think that they'll do even more to get us closer back to Warzone 1. They need to fix right. that aim nonsense that True Game Data has done countless imagery on to show what's going on with that. The backpacks need to be removed, I think, in my opinion. Um, which that changes the game entirely. The reason why there's smoke, smoke spam is because you can hold seven of them on each teammate. And mm. then, you know, so I, I think there's a lot of other things, but they'll, they'll get it dialed in. I think the game's in a good spot. I've actually been playing it on stream, which I haven't been done, doing in two years. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, so the, what basically what, what I've seen, right, is like if you play, and I've talked to Adrian about this, I've talked to a lot of people like Diaz and all them, like they, the, the, for ranked specifically, the map is horrible, in my opinion, right? I've talked to so many people. I don't think, I think, I, at least not that I know of, I haven't seen anybody that says, like, at least from the top competitors, right? Uh, when it was talking about specifically ranked, not talking about pubs, that, like, ranked just doesn't feel like ranked on the, on, I mean, let alone resurgence, but rebirth as a whole. So when you're getting opinions from people, a lot of people are like, damn, like, I thought it'd be a little bit different. I don't know if increased player count would work. I don't know if the map is just, not designed for ranked pubs. I, I, Jacob, you and I talked about this, I think on the watch party the other day. It's like pubs the first two days were like insane. Like, like they SBMN. were super insane. I jumped on like in the first day I played, I was struggling to break 10 kills. The second day, like I had like multiple, you know, double digits yeah, back yeah, to yeah. back to back to back, you know? So yeah. it, it was a definitely a difference there. Um, also, I think it's kind of hard, um, skewed a little bit because like, I don't understand the higher player count thing because for me, the pacing still feels the same, mm. but I'm also not running with three people dropping 30. So it's a little different. I'm playing with randoms where you can add up their kills will be less than 10 combined. So yeah. the, the lobby doesn't die out. There's still three or four teams end zone trying to make a, a play at the end. And there's still plenty of people on every zone. There is some stackage or whatever, but I don't think it plays much different in pacing, even uh, yeah. though the map is bigger. But I'm also not playing. I'm sure I'd have a different perspective if we wiped the zone in zone two because we each dropped 30, you know? <laughs> Agent yeah, over I've here. Only, I've only heard bad things about ranked. I haven't heard any bad things about pubs so far. Yeah. As far mm -hmm. as like a, from a creator or like casual perspective. Even talking to like my IRLs, cousins, brothers, they're like, dude, we're back. Like, you know what I mean? They love it. So, yeah. I think that's the biggest thing is like seeing it from like, obviously you gotta, I, I, like, I don't know, how do you get quote unquote the casual audience's opinion? And obviously like I've, if you're on Twitch, technically or on con twitter you're not a casual audience of course the, the resurgence com uh, like streamers are all gonna love it why because like the better it is the better their business is of course numbers are up right like th there's a bias no matter where you go but i guess numbers is a good way to tell even though those numbers like jay got said are not accurate i, I guess for a question for you aiden is mm -hmm. would 
like we are seeing the way everything's playing out and I, maybe it's because I'm so heavily involved in the competitive side of things and it's like I, I, a lot of people seem to hate it at the moment like like from Rebirth ranked, right? Uh, pubs, actually, I played it yesterday. It was actually really fun. Um, from just now, I feel like SVM got turned down. Uh, we see a bunch of people dropping 60s and shit. So, like, uh, for you, <laughs> <laughs> how do you, Aiden, how do you think, like, if Verdansk comes back, will... Okay, first of all, first question is, do you think the hype is going to die down for Rebirth in, like, a month, two months, three months? And if it does, are we kind of in a bad place for when Verdansk does come back? Does that make sense? Yeah, um, I don't know. I mean, like, I, I kind of agree with what you guys, I mean, I haven't really looked at, like, TikTok or, I guess, like, pub content for Rebirth, but I can imagine it's, like, pretty fun. I just, I just think that the, the map is too small for ranked, and, like, I've had games where we can, we literally finish the game in, like, second zone or before Resurgence has even started, so I, I agree. It doesn't really feel like ranked. I think with Verdansk, I think they almost need to do what they did with OG Fortnite. And I think they should like kind of progress the map and add things. I don't think that it should just be like, obviously when it comes out, they're probably going to change a couple of things like off the rip, but I, they, I feel like they don't do a good job at like updating the map and like keeping it fresh. I'd love to see even like a new POI or something be added in. Like it doesn't need to be the same exact map for the whole year until a new map comes out. So yeah. I think as long as it's staying fresh and there's like new things being added, I I mean I think Verdansk will be I think it'll be amazing. Yeah. Okay. What about what you Asian? Do you think like if it only lasts like how long do you think the nostalgia can carry the game? Right. Like are we even in a good spot right now where like is like is the foundation good of the game or like is it purely nostalgia? And then let's say in six months from now, everybody's tired of rebirth. How how is the game going to continue to succeed? Um, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of all the nostalgia stuff. Like, um, personally, right now, I think Ranked Rebirth, it, it's already pretty boring to me. Even just like, uh, I preferred Fortune Steep over Rebirth. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's already, like, bad enough. Like, saying what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's just something about the map. It, it, it doesn't play out as it should on ranked for public matches like i've played a handful of public matches i've been seeing tiktoks and stuff for youtube yeah that's all insane but for a ranked aspect i think they need to create a map catered to the sr if that makes sense yeah um yeah just something around around the sr base that where you don't have like right now what we're at a minus i'm at a minus 280 fee we yeah. literally have to get the lobby to top seven to go up. Yeah, so like we could we could literally get forty seven kills in like third and still lose points. So I feel like what the issue is is we play it we like we can play against platinum and diamond players, which I personally think is too, like it's not comparable in skill. Like obviously we're right. gonna right. wipe out a platinum uh, team. Um, I would I would love for the lobbies to be a little bit more sweatier, but all the fees and stuff to be lower. Like. I'm okay with versing crimson iridescent players for all of them. One, you know, we'd be versing better people. It would feel more like a tournament, like it'd feel more competitive. And then, you know, lower those fees so we don't have to wipe 40 iridescent players. I, I, I feel like we get into queues right away. Like, right. I, I don't necessarily, yeah, like, yeah, I don't mind waiting a minute or two to get into a game. Like right now we click, we click Q, it's instant. It's yeah. like, okay, well, maybe, you know, you can, make that gap a little bit closer. Um, yeah. I, I feel uh, like that's the issue. I was tracking like, uh, especially in the top 250, I was tracking your guys's like every, every other week I was basically tracking the kills and the lobbies were getting tighter throughout the season. Mm. Um, obviously with the reset, I'd have to recheck now to see kind of where people are sitting, but pretty much on average, the lowest people that would, you guys would run into would be a diamond, which is still not nearly as competitive as if the entire lobby was all crimson. Um, but they should have a longer queue. Like I've seen it before when Fortnite would do their ranked people be queuing for like 20 minutes. Yeah, it was a long time. Like, like that's a little bit excessive. I think even apex, the, they might do like a five, eight, 10 minute timer, depending on, on how fast you get to the top ranks in the beginning. But you, you, COD should definitely do that. Like, why not? Why do we, Oh, you know, it's a minute. Oh, make it at least five minutes. Some, you could find better players to put against the best. 
and then I could agree with the SR um, thing because then you'd be like, oh, there's no way. Like, yeah, even if yeah. you're the best, like, there's no way. But, um, yeah, and I, I think that the rebirth player count's pretty low too. So it's not like a, it's not like a big map where you need 100 players. Like, right. I could understand that maybe. But there's what, like 40, 50 45, players? I mean, yeah. like, I, I'm sure you could find a good amount of crimsons and iridescence and, you know, a two minute queue, three minute queue. We don't need to be thrown in right away versus the platinums. And, but, but, you know, in trade off, we have to, they kind of expect us, they kind of expect us to play against platinum and diamond players. So, Yep. They give you that high fee and they're like, okay, you have to go out there and literally win the game and get 50 kills against these platinum players to kind of get points, which I just feel like the system, it doesn't make sense. So yeah. hopefully they figure out a way to like tune that and make it a little bit better. Um, a question for Adrian and Aiden, like if they did Vondell rank this season, would you guys have been open to that? Or would you guys have been like, dang, like now we have to play Vondell, like that sucks. I get it. Like the whole ranked resurgence thing, like put big map ranked aside, like, you know, given a resurgence ranked this season, would you guys have preferred Vondell? Um, I think I would say no, just because we hadn't had a rebirth in so long and my expectations were so high. Yeah. And me personally, like 72 players is nice on Von Dell, but with all the stairwells, I mean, if they remove shotguns, then I'd be up for it for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, but I would say, I would say I prefer rebirth just because my expectations were so high and I was actually really excited for rebirth rank to see how it would play out, mm -hmm. but what if Playing they like did, a, yeah, sorry, continue if you still have something to say. No, 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 go ahead. What if they, what if they did something where they did like the first 30 days was Rebirth, second 30 days was Vondell, just to kind of keep it fresh? I know it's like a, because I feel like two months yeah. is insane. Two months yeah. is insane. And plus you guys are already saying that you're hitting the high, the, the highest SR already. So they give you a month, 30 days on Rebirth, see what you can get. And then another month, 30 days reset on Vondell. Would that have been like a little bit better? That would be dope. Even, yeah. even shorter though. Um, Maybe like. Let's say they switch, they rotate the maps every week or something like that. Yeah, I think that would, I think that would, uh, I don't know, implementing that would, would make the game like refreshing right. rather than playing like grinding fucking 45 days <laughs> to yeah, be number I one. I know when they announced it, everyone like the beginning of the season was like 60 days of rebirth ranked. Like, yeah. damn, like everyone's like day 59, day 58. Yeah. Like, you know, it just felt like such a countdown even from the beginning. So I'm just trying to think of ways how they could just keep it fresh. Where it's not like so repetitive obviously big map ranked is the end goal but for what we have now it just would have been nice to kind of split those things up so, so the, or go ahead, go ahead adrian or even having like rebirth and fortunes keep not just pushing fortunes keep out the fucking rotation i like yeah. fortunes keep I, pr I prefer fortunes keep over rebirth that's me personally I'm ranked me oh, too. I, 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 I honestly <laughs> felt like it felt more like a competitive ranked map than resurgence i i actually felt like i was loading up and i was like all right like i could try like this kind of feels like attorney sometimes you know you got some there i feel like the i don't know maybe i'm wrong but i almost feel like i ran into more sweaty people in fortunes keep brain yeah, i don't know if i'm making sure. that up or anything i don't know i don't or know what it is hacking maybe maybe but I, i'm with you I, I i would be i i just hope they can find a way to like do the map swap somehow make it work yeah, I just yeah. don't think. Sorry, Jigod. Go, no, ahead. go ahead. Sure. Yep. All right. I'll I just, remember. <laughs> I, I just don't think, like, they just literally slapped the ranked aspect on top of Rebirth. I feel like if they would have tweaked it, maybe added more players, maybe lowered the SR fee. Like, I think hiring the SR to 300 was fucking insane. <laughs> I, I, I personally don't think it was a good, um, a good decision. That's all yeah. I have to say. Yeah, I just feel like I again, I just feel like if uh if that fee was lowered, but you know, the skill cap was also Later. raised a little bit, so you're not playing against those platinum diamond players, I feel like it's a win win. The fees lower, you know, the, the matches are harder. You don't have to get fifty kills in a win, you can get thirty kills in a win, but it's against better players. I feel like it just makes more sense. So hopefully that's something they you know take a look at. Yeah, I mean, okay, so then uh, we see, I think everybody can agree, at least for, for the people in here, right? You guys all grind uh, ranked, except for Jay God. Like, or, uh, Fortune's Keep was obviously way better as a competitive map, but well, I don't like the way it plays out for pups. What's up, Jay God? Uh, even going back to when Fortune's Keep was initially added, it, it, it was, it, you could tell it was going to be a better map for ranked if, mm, if yeah. when we ever got ranked. 
It was Great. always the map where the first part, it was a little bit more hectic, like a resurgence map because it is smaller, but the end games give you that BR fill. Rebirth doesn't really give you that the same way. Yeah, uh, the BR, like it just sucks. You have to wait 20 minutes to get the, the BR fill because for the first part of the map, it's not like that either. But once you get to the end, that's kind of where, okay, rotation matters, where I'm going to position. Fortune's Keep has that because of the different whatever. So even in its first iteration, you could kind of expect that. Yeah. But uh, the, going to the other thing is I don't think they would ever make sense for them to make a like strictly ranked map. I don't think the COD ranked community is quite as big, at least not yet. Obviously, it takes time. We never had a ranked until whatever. But uh, I think the more realistic thing is for them to modify maps to make them different for ranked. So there's okay. ways that they could probably modify a resurgence for rebirth, and it could be more uh, consistent when it comes to like being a ranked mode. Whether you got rid of the towers or whatever, so it removes some vantage points. That's just examples off the top of my head, but you know what I mean? It, they could modify the map so that they can make it more ranked. Right. more competitive uh the same way they could do the things with fortunes keep or even like if vondo ever got one they could modify it the same way so what about for pubs guys like i we were talking about pubs and and rebirth and i i can agree right now that the spm has been kind of dialed back you i feel like you can definitely tell um what do you guys think about like is like is there you know we were talking about changes map changes to Verdansk. Aiden had said to make it like continue to be improved right in three four months down the line uh like do you guys think for pubs not ranked anymore it will it get stale or is it something that like i hope it doesn't because again something like Verdansk, i want to continue to be really good but like for pubs do you change pois in pubs do you like like or like are we will people lose their shit if you even touch rebirth at all well I will say that we had a rebirth for like 15 months and the day it went away, people begged for it to come back the next day. So <laughs> I don't think that's going to be a problem with rebirth. Huh. I think they do need to be a little bit more vigilant on these patch notes. I don't know what the fuck's this weapon balancing stuff is like literally, I guess the meta guys, <laughs> it's um. HRM, you know, <laughs> what, what are we doing here? And yeah. then the floor loot, like the floor loot, like what it's is awful. going on? I tweeted it's the, so the first awful. day, the day one of the season, I said, Rebirth 10 out of 10, floor loot 2 out of 10. It's, it's absolutely it's horrendous. Awful. It is but, horrendous. Which So those are things that impact the other modes that directly impact the game. I think the floor loot, what you spawn in with, like those, all those variables are the gameplay loop. The map is itself, they can leave the map untouched probably for the next 36 months and people will still be playing the shit out of the game. So, that, which actually, that's actually my next to topic that I want to talk about. It's just, let's talk about floor loot, right? They, they told us, uh, what was at the beginning of the, of the year in one of the creator calls that their goal is to change uh, the gulag every single season, the ground loot every single season, and what else? And new meta, new metas. We'll, we'll go over one by one of those. Uh, let's just start with, with gulag. Nothing was changed, right? They just added two ladders. They added a ladder, Hector. All right, <laughs> they all right. added a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> they added two ladders, you know, to, 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 to that. And then now let's talk about floor loot. So floor loot, I said before season three dropped, I said ground loot is in the worst state possible. It is so shitty. And now, bro, I feel like it's even more ass than what it was in season two. How we went back into floor loot, I don't know. Aiden, Adrian, talk to me. What do you guys think about ground loot? Aiden, you can go ahead and go first. I feel like just for, for to keep in mind, chat and everybody watching at home, I feel like back when Caldera integrated, there was so many guns ground loot that you could get off rip. The PPSH, the the, mm -hmm. uh, the MP5 Cold War. There was so many guns off rip that you could pick up and were actually viable. That it wasn't... Yeah, it was a difference between your loadout gun and then your ground loot, but it wasn't that big of a difference, right? To where now, it's like, dog, if, if they had the, the, the pistol, I know I got nerfed yesterday, but if they had, somebody had that pistol and another ground loot gun, you're getting fucking shit on. So, I don't know, what yeah. do y'all think? Yeah, well, I can mean... Can I add one little quick line in there? Yeah. Is, mm -hmm. It wouldn't be as bad, it's bad, but it wouldn't be as bad as if somebody in the next room next to you could just open a chest and get their loadout guns. Like... <laughs> Because the, the, the gap between that and what you're getting in your chest is so significant. Agreed. It's stupid. <laughs> but go ahead. Yeah, I remember <laughs> playing that. Two, one, I actually did. So I did play uh, pubs on Rebirth, but it was one of those 2v2 tournaments. Okay. And um, the worst, the worst thing, I remember just getting dominated on that because it was Jace. He found his loadout chest right away, like 
right off the rip when the Renetti was a thing. And then I'm just sitting here picking up MTZ interceptors with like wonky <laughs> three X's on it. I'm like, bro, I'm, you win, man. Just take oh, it. Back so, back so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that gro the ground loot, I, I too many like marksman rifles, like too many like unnecessary things. And it's not like, I don't know what they're trying to cater to by doing that. Cause it's like, maybe you're trying to get people to like level up their guns or whatever, but it's like, I don't think there's one person in the world that is like, I want this no no sight MTZ interceptor. Like, I mean, you're not. I don't necessarily think you're making anybody happy by doing that. So I I don't know what the purpose. I don't know. I agree. You're spinning, man. Like like I, maybe this is a faded take, but like keep guns that are are actually even somewhat viable. They don't even have to be meta. But like keep things that are viable. Take off like like or reduce the spawn rate. Don't take them off completely of like mm. RPGs, shotguns, snipers. I, I, Diaz was making fun of me because he's like, like he was watching me play a game and I'm, he's not like five, five chests in a row. I got a sniper. Like yeah. and he was literally, like, he was like, bro, there's no way. And like, I didn't notice. And I was just going to like the next one, the next one. And chat was like making fun of me. They're like, bro, there's no way you just did six snipers in a row. Like there's no yeah. way. So like things like that, I, I don't know. I mean, Adrian, what you think, man? What could they do to kind of make the ground loop better? Ah, uh, that's rough, because, like Jay got said, with the patch notes, like, where the fuck are the meta changes and the different variables for guns? Like, me personally, bro, fuck the ground loot. I'm full sending everything with the pistol. The pistol yeah. fucking, so the pistol <laughs> no, smokes fucking everything on the ground loot. Um, but that's to true. change, to change. Like, what can they change? Definitely, I'm with you, reducing the spawn rate of snipers. I see a sniper, I want to say, every other crate. RPGs as well. Um, I'm getting fucking claymores out of, out of, out of boxes, first chest. <laughs> I, I, it's, just, it's just rough. I don't, like, I, I miss that Caldera. You had the MP40. You had, like you said, um, the Cold War MP5. The, even the snipers then were, were viable, I feel <laughs> like. Um, you got the tank well, rifle and shit like that, but it's just rough. I don't. I really don't know what they could change for the ground on. loot. Well, also part of the problem is some of the floor loot. It doesn't even equate to the squad size you're playing. Because if you're playing quads, then like you need to have the biggest mag. They give you like a twenty round mag on some garbage. Yeah. But like solo's cool. You could use whatever. You can get away with one mag. But literally giving you like I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. I think so. Something that I just thought of is they preach that the recommended weapons are like the quote unquote meta. Why don't they just put recommended weapons in ground loot? You know, if that and that Actually, would change every season. Again. If they if they did updates on guns, that would change every season. It would auto change, yeah. And so the recommended guns would always be ground loot. Where I mean, we have this whole feature called recommended guns. Where the fuck are the recommended guns? They're not. I, mean, I can't. I can't even, like, so they should just put them in ground loot, right? I mean, yeah, yeah. there's so many ARs and SMGs and everything that are recommended, but. The like, is horrible. Like, like I'm not even trolling. This is not. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm being so dead ass. How do you think they go about creating a ground loop pool? Do you think they just throw it all into a fucking mixer and then just hit shuffle and then just whatever comes out? Like, or do you think it's intentional? Because at least I feel I, like these things they like. It doesn't seem intentional. It doesn't seem like it's like, bro, come on, man. Like it's so I, random. Like, they it's use got, a loadout generator, floor loot generator. They it's go to the website it's, somewhere. It's got to be random. Website somewhere. They press a button. I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> bro, they're getting their loadouts from Lucky Shaman's TikTok meta videos, bro. I swear. There it is, bro. Like, <laughs> oh, oh man. man. Oh well, I mean, look. Let's talk about now the lack of of meta changes, right? Um, sadly, I, I I think this. I could probably grab a clip of this from from last podcast and then put some sad music over this but ladies and gentlemen i'm very happy to say that you know after two long seasons season three the official meta is ram 9 hr or ram hrm ram 7 hrm no meta changes there are maybe i think people one... are still using the soa a little bit like some good players yeah people with cronuses like... mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no i'm going back to the ram i've gone back to the yeah. ram when now. you, when you have, have adrian like when you have adrian and diaz yep. using the ram i don't want to hear nothing about the soa bro exactly like, I, I don't want to hear nothing about the soa <laughs> oh, facts. I, I don't know boys talk to me man i i it's the, there's gotta be bro like i'm tired of this minuscule adjusting like oh let's make it still viable but Nerf that shit to the ground. Nerf the ram. Buff things. Like, I want to see some drastic changes. Boys, I don't know. Talk to me. What do you guys think about the current meta? <laughs> I will, uh, yeah, I mean, this is this has been quite some time we've been using the same stuff. I've, 
I think the HR, yeah. I mean, I've been I've been trying the Striker Nine. I think it's actually really good. I think it's compare uh, comparable to the HRM, but I think there's just little aspects about the HRM that are still just that just tops it off. And I don't, I really don't know what we got to do anymore. I th I th I think it's because they like nerf it, like you said, very minuscule. But they're not really they like buff the other guns, but like not important stuff. Like oh, well, they buff the sprint to fire by like a little bit. And it's like all right, like. I don't really think that's what we were worried about. That thing shoots fucking pebbles, bro. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, hopefully all you know all the feedback and them um, seeing us use the same guns over and over. Hopefully that. Yeah, um, fucking no, bro. We're Hector, you've you've touched on this before, where you you like you, I know you've said this on the pod before, where I mean, new metas and new guns and ground loot, it literally changes the game. It makes the game feel like a totally brand new game. So it's confusing why we're just playing the same game over and over again. I mean, bro, it's it's especially with how repetitive resurgence is like can we change the game so it feels different like it just you know i, I do I think, agree with you jay god what did you say last time i think it was you you said there should be pools of ground loot and that they rotate every every two weeks three weeks like or where, something yeah yeah like you kind of know what to expect when you when you get your loot or whatever that it should kind of cycle out yeah i mean what 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 could right now be in the game that like what guns do you guys want to see as meta i'm gonna go ahead and throw this out there rival nine i know you, stri you guys Facts. said striker nine rival Facts. nine has insane mobility insane what are you talking speed, about but... bro try the burst one it's godlike that's what the chat be saying <laughs> no you use that shit it's horrible bro oh man <laughs> like uh, rival rival nine would be fire especially because it's like cdl like i i, I would love that i would love an mcw exactly. meta as well haven't had an m Put i don't those think... together and we would be the cdl M yeah yeah, yeah. Zelda I mean, champs bundle. Yeah. Yeah. I just spent twenty four hundred so, cod points on a same. sick MCW blueprint, bro. Like, come on. They got bro. some fire blueprints. I'm so, but that the, like, so close to buying that one, but I don't buy anything. But that but, one but looks Jay sick. God, if they made a meta, you'd buy it. Mm, no. Only if it was pay to win. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> that DMZ shit right there, bro. Uh, no, man. I mean, boys, uh, Adrian, what gun would you like to see in the rotation right now? Potentially be meta. I ask all you guys that, right? But Adrian. Hmm. Honestly, probably the. Oh, this is rough. I rival sounds good, but I would prefer like a like a Uzi. The Uzi hits really hard. Okay. Right, right new, now, new sub, bro. But or the new sub or <laughs> new sub or if right. they come out, you know, new season. There's three new guns and they're all fucking dog shit. Well, we, we are getting that? a mid-season gun in like two weeks or three weeks. Damn, already? And I really hope the bow's good. I if, hope the bow's better. I really hope it's good because I, I, Advanced Warfare was one of my favorite CODs. I, even now, I still enjoy using the Moors, but the new sub, if that was good, I would use it for sure. For sure, for sure. What about you, Aiden? You said new, new sub? I think uh, it's so weird to have a new sub and it's like, I don't, I've seen a couple people use it in like pubs, but I feel like it's just content. not even i don't even think it's like a top five sub like i mean i haven't used it personally but i don't know from what i've seen i feel like there's three at least three sub machine guns that are better than it so i feel like the new mid-season is the time to get rid of the ram and the hrm and if it's not gone by then like we are we're toast bro we're toast <laughs> but yeah the yeah. bow like a said i'm super down for a bow meta that's i feel like it's a pretty nostalgic gun i i don't think a lot of people would complain about that sounds like a good time uh striker i feel like i don't know if we've had like a striker meta that gun's kind of fun but yeah. i feel like uh it's like a just a no recoil it's a pretty vanilla feeling gun like it's just bare no recoil it's pretty basic it's a, it's an og gun um but honestly anything at this point that's not ram hrm i'm down <laughs> what about you jay god what do you want to so, see uh what what, what what aiden originally said i think it would be a layup for them it would be a rival in mcw would be a complete layup if that was the close and long range meta. And then they did like, like, like a 10 page thing where they buffed all kinds of random shit on MW two guns, because if those could slip in and be crazy, like good, whether it's a cast off seven, six, two or, or, or five, four, five randomly. Cause it was never good. Or one of these random guns that could actually be good. Then you could have some fun with it. Still knowing that, We'd have the rival and the MCW as the, the top dogs, but at least you'd have some flexibility, especially when it comes to the, uh, like the content creation side. Like it's, it's hard to even argue. Some of these guns are barely even viable. Like they're bad, yeah. you know, they're would, just bad. Wouldn't it help too? Like, cause uh, do we have any MW2 guns on ground loot? Like, 
I yes. wouldn't mind cast having off, cast off right now. Cast I wouldn't off. mind having you know the MW2 guns being a little bit better, and then seeing those incorporated in ground loot, so we're seeing less marksman rifles, snipers, fill the loot pull up with more of that. Oh, stuff M4s on there like, too. They're all ass though. All yeah, they're MW2 so guns. bad. And, and that yeah. has never had its time to shine in Warzone 2 and above. It's crazy. What I think is cool too is like we have all these new optics, like the Jack Glassless optic and stuff, and you can use those on the MW2 guns. So it'd be interesting mm -hmm. to see. It wouldn't feel like yo, oh, here we go, ISO 45 again, like hemlock. Yeah. You know, but you could have some new attachments on there. Like there's new underbarrels, Brune Heavy, whatever. We could switch it up a bit. So mm -hmm. I'd be down for them to bring back some of the MW2 guns. I mean, when they're in the game, we might as well use them. Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, bro, like again, that uh, there's so many guns even back in in, in Cold War, like. Because you could use old attachments on those, right? Or was it just, were you just, no, 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 actually, no, that's wrong. You could only use whatever guns were yeah. on, like, were from the same title, right? They got you correct, correct me if I'm wrong. For which one? Like, Pretty back sure. when it was Cold War. And For Warzone 1? You couldn't use Modern Warfare 2019 attachments No, no, on no, no, no. They Cold were locked War. to their own individual titles. Right. Or some stuff could have been broken. If we could have a 10 attachment kilo, that shit would have gone crazy. I'm trying to remember <laughs> what exactly, but I, now like it gives a, a, a new Put identity. Put a Raider stock on some of these SMGs. Oh, dude, that Bro. would imagine that. <laughs> like taped grip um, on. I don't know. That'd be uh, insane. Yeah. I don't know random, do, you, do you guys think conversion kits should be banned and ranked? Good question. I mean, the way that they are right now, I would say no. Besides the yeah. Renetti, I feel like they slipped up and that one was just fucking out of this world. But yeah. I, I tried that Core 45 and that, that shit was ass. So, we talking about it's the number one in meta right now. It's no, just no, YouTube. That, that shit is ass. I don't number know. one, it was pretty good. It was yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I hate he about that? new meta, bro. Thank <laughs> you later. Yeah, Jack pulled me on his statue. Like, that one was That's crazy. Why? That one was crazy. Yeah, I, I hate that about the like n new meta. Like some of the loadout, you know, Twitters and stuff. They like strictly go off of time to kill. Or people are like Aiden, this is this gun's the best time to kill. It's the <laughs> yeah, meta, yeah, and I'm yeah. like. Dude, and there's it, other be... variables to a gun than time to kill. Tier, like, bro. It's like, it, it kills like in like 150 it, milliseconds or something. It's got like a 10 round mag or something. Yeah, it's got a 10 <laughs> round mag. It's so slow. No ADS speed. It's like, yeah, I mean. I mean, bro, that, that I, I mean, I definitely think that's this is another podcast that I would like to do, but I do <laughs> want to reevaluate all the pulse check rules because at the yeah. game that we had in season one is completely different than the game that we have in season three. Obviously, we know World Series of Warzone um, is coming up soon. And like, I, I don't know what they're going to be. They, they look to the podcast for feedback for certain things. Um, so I'm glad, I'm hoping that we can do something to kind of show like, what the competitors think, and obviously it's up to them. Um, but boys, for you guys, what's y'all's opinion? Did you guys like? I asked this to I forgot who it was. Um, on it was I think it was Soken Shifty. Um, but how did you guys like the custom tournament with no bands at all? Did you guys think it was cheese as hell? Did you guys think it was cool? Or like, talk to me on that. Do you guys do you guys think like no banning is good? Minimal bands or ban? as much as you can to make it as competitive as possible. What did you guys think? I I personally think if the snipers were banned, I think it, it would play out nice. I was getting full kill through buildings by fucking charge up more. Yep. <laughs> and other than that, I don't know if it's me, if I'm fucking ass or what, but if I can get fucking reflared and fight, like that shit's fire right there. Like yeah. I, I love coming back. Like if I I only have one life. Let's say there's a fucking a million bands and you only have one life. Like I feel like I play differently. But with the redeploys and shit and redeploy packs, like I personally was full sending shit. We played really yeah. good in that qualifier. We started to slow <laughs> down more. Like when we started getting sniped and shit. Um, in the finals. But I personally like the minimal bands. Okay. Yeah. I mean like. From a competitive standpoint, it sounds it sounds like it'd be better to not have it, but I think because Warzone's a very basic, like it's not Apex, it's not Fortnite, right? You're not building walls, you're not throwing bubbles. There's a, there's I feel like there's a lot of lot more RNG when it comes to Warzone. So I feel like having the flares almost like helps you regain from that. And I don't know. I mean, I wasn't all I wasn't for like flares and stuff at first, but like actually playing it, like it was genuinely like fun. Like like yeah. you said, besides the the snipers and stuff and maybe the thermals i don't know but the, the flares oh. itself i didn't like i thought it was fun uh and then to mention what jay god said earlier i think the only thing that was like weird about them is the backpacks is like holding like three of them or like when you're like in seventh place right and you flare 
and then you have your teammate just floating and everyone's fighting and dying and you just basically got like 20 points because everyone's just dead and you're like going up a bunch of placement that's the only thing yeah. i find cheesy about it but i had a fun time <laughs> Yeah, I think that when we were talking about it, Hector, I think we were saying if they fix the spawn rate on flares, it would be fine. But there's just it's insane. Like I, I was seeing some players drop, you know, they had three or four flares. Like I know Vaughn killed eight in one game. He had three flares on. Him. It was like just insane. Like there's so the spawn rate, I think, just needs to get like nerfed a little bit. But I do think redeploy packs and gulag tokens aren't, in my opinion, they're not. I don't think they should be in. So what I'll say is my, my personal opinion is the really big issue is the backpack because you can hold so much junk. Right, right. I think the ability to throw smokes and all that stuff is cool. You have the two on your reserve. Your teammate has two and two, so you got a total of six. When you each have six, it's kind of crazy. So it'd be interesting to do a no ban tourney, like the exact same tourney, but you couldn't carry any spare stuff in your backpack except for plates. That'd be an interesting style of a uh, thing. So it would feel like more of the Warzone 1 where you're limited. Your field upgrade would have to be in the field upgrade spot. So if you yeah. want to run a flare, you can't have plates, you can't have munitions. Um, so it, you have to coordinate your strategies differently. We're not where you yeah. have seven, you know, whatever. I don't know how, obviously, the chat would tell on the people that were doing not what they were supposed to. But literally seven of you know uh, frag grenades or whatever that stuff's so damn cheesy yeah, yeah. if it was only plates in your inventory it would essentially be a no backpack tourney Agreed. but with no other restrictions and it would totally change how people choose you couldn't just be willy-nilly oh you know what i throw two smokes throw my munitions throw two smokes munitions oh i got cold-blooded all right or whatever i got my thermal i, I think yeah. it's, it would get us like it would be more competitive i think Ah, you sp you spit right there. Like I, I think the the biggest reason and and why pulse check rules at the time, right? The, like my opinion has changed on rule sets, and I know Shanice is in here. She's probably super happy to hear this, right? But like my opinion has changed because the game has changed, right? Like yeah. I think right now the reason why I enjoy, I actually we watched the no rule set tournament. I don't know how y'all felt playing it, right? But I was like, oh, like this is actually pretty damn entertaining. Like I'm pretty like I'm entertained. But it's because the game is different than what it was when it started. When we we had season one, like nobody wants to watch MTZs two tap people. Right. Nobody wants to watch revolvers one tap people. Like one shot breacher drones. Yeah, like those yeah. type of things are like ban that, ban that. Because but now I feel like the game is in a pretty like so far season three. It, like as balance wise, yes, HRM, all that's still meta. But there's nothing that's like crazy outliers. It's just crazy, insane time to kill. And apart, the only thing that I thought could have been banned in, in last week's tournament was just a sniper. Uh, because uh, strictly speaking, for the fact that that thing is killing people through walls, I've seen people get collapsed, uh, just like pinging and just just charging it. You know, insane. Um, so I uh, think, yeah, I think the things that should be banned, in my opinion, are like for customs right now, which is not a big list. I mean, you know, obviously the flare discussion we can talk about. Um, but I think one shot snipers, cluster mines, and thermals, especially because thermal dude, cold blood, it doesn't work. Well, like it just you could just ban that one thermal site. No, I would like all of them go through, like all of them for the most part. Even the, the hollow therm, and then also that tiny one that has like the white. Yeah, like, for the could, pistol. It, it, yes, for the pistol, it all of them go through cold blooded. Like they could be in a smoke, and you can see them no problem. So, so that is just a cold blooded thing, then, it's right? Thermals. Like, it, no, cold blooded's like it'll. So if you don't use cold blooded, you'll be like fully white. If you if you use cold blooded, you'll be like a little bit darker. You're like a darker gray, but you can it still goes through smoke 100. Oh. percent So I think all the thermals just need to go, in my opinion. Um, okay. There was one more thing I forgot, honestly, but yeah. Okay. I mean, definitely, I think we definitely have to have another pulse check podcast yeah. where we go over all the rules. I and... think I think if we do it, honestly, like I think it would be a list of five things, like no no troll. I literally think it would be such a small list, which is great for viewership and also players. Yeah, right now, I don't even think any guns. Like, maybe the Moors, because it just goes, like, it shoots through walls. Well, one-shot uh, snipers, yeah. Yeah, one-shot snipers. But apart from that, like, I literally was very entertained by the oh, no... Bird's eye, bird's eye as well. Okay, okay. I mean, again, hopefully we get an announcement soon so we can kind of hook right. up on that. Um, well, the, but... the good news is, sorry to, to cut no, you no, off, no, no, I know but... the good news is right now in ranked, they have bird's eye banned, they have flares banned, which, I, like I said, if they fix the spawn rate, I think is a, uh, another discussion. Um, they have one shot snipers. I don't know if I said that they don't have cluster mines and I don't think they have bomb drones Like they already took out the majority of like the BS in ranked, which is great Which means probably what we're gonna get for World Series Okay, yeah, I mean again they uh, for those of y'all who don't know they grabbed the ranked rule set and use that for the World Series Warzone Right, so hopefully 
speaking on this, I know we've been kind of discussing a lot of rebirth ring. It's big map ranked. Uh, we, we haven't, ta- I don't think we've had the podcast at all. Everybody just says they want it. They want big map ranked. Uh, Aiden, Adrian, you guys are like the, like top players in the world. What, how do you think it will play if Urzikstan had ranked? I would love um, it. Yeah. I, think I mean, it would play great. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think what we talked about at the start of the podcast is like, Almost leaving Resurgence. I mean, I wasn't opposed to trying Resurgence ranked, but I think it's just... I just feel like it doesn't make as much sense as Big big Map ranked. And um, I, I don't know if we would need a higher player count in the Big Map, because I know in pubs right now, like, it doesn't boring. feel good. Yeah. yeah, it's super boring. It feels like a lot of the times I'm just looking for people. So I don't know if it'd be an issue in ranked, but I, I mean, I think it has a lot more playability. I think the issue with Resurgence ranked is it's like, you 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 get to every poi every map you span the whole map it's like there's nothing new it, it feels like the same fights every single game and it's like with the big map i feel like it, there's just more variables it's not, you know that when the end game goes to one side of the map compared to the another it feels like a completely different game yeah are you asian i'm honestly with aiden on that um and rebirth you're literally you can go from one side of the map to the other side of the map within a minute especially with uh redeploy drones or going to the top tower um i i personally think big map would be refreshing just because like aiden said again um, there's just there's just so much different things that could happen within within that big map um i think 100 players would play well um but me personally i'm a big map fan so yeah, I, I I've never been a, a, a super huge resurgence like geek, I guess you can say, but I'm, I'm with I'm with I'm with Aiden on nerd. that for sure. Yeah. Bro, what the fuck, resurgence nerd? <laughs> That's crazy, man. No, look, bro. Like, I think one I, the co- one common thing that I keep hearing y'all say is how things feel differently for pubs as opposed to how they feel differently for ranked. So honestly, watching, I know we had maybe like one to two custom tournaments um, on Big Map. Uh, I think 100 players might not be bad for like ranked. 100 players mm-hmm. for ranked doesn't seem like, like specifically for ranked, like for, from a competitive environment, it doesn't seem that bad. Like it seems like they play out very well from the ones that we've, that we've um, hosted this year, the two or three. Yeah. They were really fun to watch. It didn't Agreed. feel too third party ish, right? It felt good. Um, but e- for even pups, when we had the 70 player one, though, it felt yeah, fine. Even it 70, like- it didn't seem that bad. Now, now, but then think about how drastic that is from pubs. Pubs feels like a snooze fest on the big map. It's 100 yeah. players. It's so boring. It's just, it's literally just like, it's boring. It's boring. So now if they added 130, 120 to pubs and made it to where like that, like like pubs is a playground. And I think that's what people need to understand or at least I hope COD kind of understands. Like, let's say things like, like BR should feel like BR and then like, and then resurgence should feel like a, the playground that it is, right? So, like at making the playground competitive, we, we've seen we're seeing the way it's worked or how, how it's not working, I guess. Um, and I, it seems like again, we don't have numbers. I wish they would give us numbers, but it's not really working. Resurgence ranked. So now, if BR was to stay with 100 players and they did try to make that into a BR ranked, um, and then they kept pubs just the fun, like the crazy, Agreed. like 150 players, 130 players, whatever the case, and just like make that the fun playground. No, uh, but I don't know. I don't know if you agree. Um, Ebates, you're going to say something? No, I, I, I agree with you 100%. I think it'd be sick, uh, sweet to have like pubs or Zixan 120, you know, maybe rank. They could even try 120 or do 100. I think 100, like you're saying, plays fun. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Resurgence, they definitely need to just split the two. I know we've talked about this for a couple months now. Uh, it feels wh- like they've combined both BR and Resurgence into one. It just kind of feels weird. So do y'all think they would ever do both at the same time? For example, do you guys think they're going to give us Big Map Ring Season 4? I think they will. I think they will, and I think they'll take Resurgence Ranked out, which is great. I think it's great. I think Season 2 and Season 3, they have this on their calendar. They're like, yo, let's do two seasons of Resurgence Ranked. Let's do Fortune's Keep and then Rebirth to like kind of hype up the new maps. And then the Season 4, let's go all in. Big Map Ranked, World Series of Warzone announcement, 120 players, cook up. This is making and too then- much sense. It's, and then and then and then also you can leave rebirth and all that and it's like you built up that resurgence community it's here now here's the br let's build that up and like then you'll have the best of both worlds like that's what i think their 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 goal is um i think we'll look back at this and be like damn like 
we really had resurgence ring but like it'll be all like you know it'll be all in the past like i'm telling you i think they built up resurgence back now they're trying to build back br <laughs> Wait, what well, you i know say? one thing i said hector is that like they won't do them at the same time because the ui cannot handle that much going on when you click it has multiplayer like your regular rank then Bless. multiplayer and then you have your warzone rank they're not going to have like your resurgence then no they have to redo the the ui and we know they're not going to do that <laughs> so you guys don't think they would do both at the same time no i, I think they'll words. always alternate or have them offset but never at the simultaneously okay all right aiden were you gonna say something <laughs> you were like oh this seems too <laughs> I sounds I don't know I mean it sounds like perfect in theory I just I mean I don't know bro they might slap us in the face with another you know resurgent they might throw out the Vondel no, the Vondel right no, no, no. that'll be crazy they're not doing it bro I'm telling you there's no way in heck they're doing it bro I'm, hey, I'm so at confident least, at least we didn't get a, a messed up playlist today <laughs> we actually have three different resurgence like quads oh really yeah the LTM which is actually kind of crazy Okay. It is. And then you have the regular rebirth quads. And then you have quads where the map switches between Vondel and Fortune's Keep, I think. Oh, nice. Like, locked in. like who's in charge this week? Let's leave them to cook for the rest of the season. Like, it, it's crazy. Yeah. I think they need to listen to Blackout City 11 in the chat. Throw in the Ashika <laughs> ranked. Oh, Shika bro. Ranked? Yeah. Hey, you oh, know bro. what, though? To be fair, that would probably play better for ranked than rebirth. Oh, 100%. Yeah, I probably would, even though the I don't. Map I'm not is, yeah, yeah, I don't like the map, ideas. but it will, be, map it will play <laughs> better for Stop the Stop the conversation here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't man. give him any ideas, bro. <laughs> All right, boys. Let's kind of... <laughs> let's move on to kind of like the competitive scene for what it is right now, right? Um, how have you guys been liking the competitive scene? I know there's been... 2v2s for the last what five weeks um and i know i feel like we've gotten the the feedback a lot that lot like you guys they feel like a lot of people feel like 2v2s is kind of kind of ran, ran its course or maybe it's not it's ran its course completely but it is um at the, as of right now a little bit stale so for you guys who compete every single week how do y'all feel uh, about the 2v2s the last five warzone total frenzy 2v2s yeah uh I think the issue with 2v2s right now is like you do it on resurgence, the game. It might cut out. Might right. cut out, Aiden. Oh, we good now? Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, we good? All right, my bad. Uh, so, what I was saying is, I, I feel like 2v2s play weird on every map right now because you have like rebirth and it's like the games die super quick. It doesn't feel like, it feels like there's a lot of RNG. Like if you get your loadout chest and you, you know, just something small like that, you just lose the map. There's, it's really hard to regain and come back. Big map, there's only 100 players. I feel like that player count would need to go up a little bit to make it feel more like you're not rotating the whole game. I just feel like every map has its own issue that make 2v2s kind of like boring. And yeah, I'm not a big fan of the the rebirth 2v2s every week. Like, I don't I don't think they're that fun personally, but... Okay, what, what about big map 2v2s? Yeah, big map 2v2s. I just feel like the player count, if the player count was higher, like we've been saying, and it was more like... You're fighting, you know, you're constantly fighting people. I feel like that make it more fun. Back to the 40 bombs, bro. Like, yeah. I feel like 30, 30 is the new, like, 40 right now just because the map is so <laughs> slow and I don't know. Yeah, more player count I think would make it fun. And yeah. not using the Ram 7. Sh Shanice, we asked, which is kind of crazy, which, uh, again, uh, I'm starting to understand a lot of the devs when they say, oh, you guys ask for one thing, we give you one thing, and then you guys say you don't like, no, we didn't want to like that. No, but, like, I, and now I, I agree with you. I agree with you. Two, two's, I, I think is maybe it's alternating right maybe it's not five weeks of 2v2s where everybody's like all right well like, like because so many people begged oh customs are boring like we want 2v2s so then we got 2v2s and then oh 2v2s are boring we want customs it's like god damn you know so but agent talk to me hey, what, what, what are you thinking um i don't like the way rebirth plays out when it gets to the last three teams it's just like that you're just praying Chasing for the for person, person? To, to the land on you. You literally just have to pray the person lands straight on you. Or you find their loadout. Um, for 2v2s, I'm with Aiden. There, I, there's not enough people. I feel like if you could constantly fight on 2v and on the big map 2v2s, it would make it a lot more fun. But at the end of the day, I just don't think you could please everyone. Yeah. Um, yeah. Even with yeah. customs, I do like the alternating fact. I think that would play out well. Like, let's say one week customs, one week uh, 2v2. 
but definitely five weeks in a row of just straight two v two. Yeah, it, it's it, it super... definitely gets repetitive and boring. I think um, the schedule that would that really works in my opinion. I think the beginning of the year, as far as competitive tournaments, two v twos are really hot because the the map is fresh. It's all right. new and it feels exciting. Yeah. And then also like the hide and seek tourneys, whatever. I think they're just kind of like <laughs> they're fun. Honestly, they're fun. In the beginning of the year, they are always fun because it's a new map. Like I said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying the beginning of the year, Hector. I'm just I'm trying to take the, the devil's advocate here. I yeah, he's he's getting invited this year. He's, he's going yeah, to COD next. Listen, you know, you know, I see Shanice in the chat. What's good, Shanice? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just fine. But actually, though, like the beginning of the year, we see 2v2s and like other like fun marketing tournaments. Everyone, you know, the content creators are obviously like beginning of the game. Everyone's trying to get content out. So I do think those tournaments are needed. And then like March, you kind of start getting those customs. We can start getting that's also too when a lot of the BS is nerfed. You know, like we were saying, beginning of the game, December, January, we had like one shot breacher drones, a bunch of nonsense. But then by March, the game is pretty good. So then you could start going heavy on customs and then build up for World Series. I think in my opinion, that's probably the best structure. Um, but kind of jumping back, like jumping around and stuff, it just makes things inconsistent. And I do think that two v twos have been kind of like we've been like eight weeks now of just like two v twos, like phase Fridays and then the now yeah. these, and it's like it kind of is just repetitive. Um, but that's yeah. My yeah. Take. I feel like okay. another thing too to keep and i don't know maybe maybe people won't agree with me on this but i would love to see more like draft tournaments like stuff like that like when i play multiplayer like some of the content creator tourneys where they're like drafting teams and stuff like i feel like that stuff's super cool or like even getting see i don't know i mean i guess cdl pros they don't really mess with warzone like that but that one where we had like a cdl pro team with a warzone pro like stuff like that is fun for yeah. content for viewers i don't feel like every 2v2 has to be like you know, or every custom has to be you pick up your squad, which I agree in a competitive like sense that would that would be ideal. But I'd love to see more of the drafts and stuff like that. Yeah, dude, somebody I, was I, telling I me know. the other day a sweet tournament would be like a uh, like let's say it was like let's say they want to do a resurgence tournament, whatever. It would have been three Warzone players and then one CDL pro. That would have been a sweet tournament. Like oh, I don't for know, like a that, custom. Yeah, that would have been sick. Yeah. No, I mean just I don't to change I, it up and just like yeah, have yeah. fun. You know, like it would have been sweet. No, hundred percent. And look, I, I think that from the feedback that we're hearing is like, the, yeah, let's say, for example, customs, right? We all want customs to come back, but at least let me know if uh, a chat and you guys let me know if I'm hearing this correctly. You guys want customs, but not every single customs doesn't have to be trios customs or just that trios customs or just that trios customs or just that. Like try a duos custom. Try, yeah, they, can throw, uh, they can throw solos in there. Solos, like, try, yeah, like, solos would be dope try too. different Quads? shit out. No, nah, yeah. quads is crazy. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Quads would be crazy. <laughs> another, quads another, be crazy. another six smokes on the team. Another four flare. Oh, <laughs> Let's go. Bro, imagine oh. the smokes end game with with a full team oh, up. Be nuts. Oh my gosh. Here's an ammo box. Here's an ammo box. Here's an ammo box, bro. Like you're oh, rotating. No. Oh my god, that'd be insane. Yeah. No, nah, okay. solo's turning would be actually insane. I didn't even. I mean, I yeah. know we did the solo yellows beginning of the year, but and those were always exciting. But it'd be cool to see like an actual oh. solo six game tournament. Okay, okay. I've, I've had a tournament idea. Okay, go ahead, check out it, but I'll tell you after. I'll well, you. For, for not a tournament idea, but in terms of like head to head, like we've watched pretty much all of the the tourneys that we could watch, and I will say that although two v twos have their moments, they're way few and far between. Yeah. Usually the lead is out of hand. They splat off rip. They whatever. Usually, and, and a lot of times, some of the matchups people will get like tons of kills, right? And they'll still lose whatever, but. When it comes to the customs, it's usually like there's storylines that we can follow from beginning to end of the match versus right. there's 17 matches going on at once. I think that's hard as a viewer. And even though for the, the Pulse Check Watch Party <laughs> stuff, we're going through all the POVs, it's still even hard to keep track of. We're like, oh, they lost, they're already out, losers finals, they're done. Versus you get a full storyline. It's better for streamers schedules that are competing, I think, to do a six hour tourney, seven, where they get to play every match and not Oh, we got eliminated. We're out. Okay, cool. That was 45 minutes. I guess I'm just going to stream for the rest of the day. Watch. For, I don't know. So it's kind of awkward. And I think uh, there's it's more impressive when what people do in customs, just because you know that the people you're going against are shooting back. So, okay, I agree. Here's my, here's my, I guess, question to Aiden and Adrian. And you guys know the competitive scene pretty well. And it's like the biggest thing holding us back from a lot of the stuff that like that you know, all the ideas that these tournament organizers want to do is they're scared that people won't play in them. Because, for example, we tried to get, like, uh, I, tr I tried to do a, a, um, custom scrims last year and everybody, every single team shut it down. They were like, Hector, don't do it. They're, nobody's going to sign up. Like, we won't sign up unless it's for money. Because why would they play a, why would I host a free-to-play 
hyper competitive scrim wins they could go each put in 20 bucks 10 bucks and then play for like at least 100 dollars each 200 dollars each and like i don't know one of those little smaller tournaments right and so like here's what i'm saying is like for example let's say that i think i was thinking yo what could be fun to watch right and imagine just a random one i'm just gonna throw out a random one like i have a bunch of ideas of tournament ideas but like a no aim assist uh tournament like how hilarious would that be from a viewer start not screw competitive just from a viewership perspective but then you let people like huskers symphony and all them play in it like and just see what happens bro and because that's such a big topic of like aim assist versus like it's overpowered aim assist and then if you, now you okay take it away let's see how how good these guys are right like could controller teams beat out the keyboard and mouse players with no aim assist right it's just it's it's all fun and entertaining to watch but now would people actually play that i know for a fact people would watch because that would be very entertaining because you think of the question of like oh how, how, how good could they be like would huskers smoke everybody you know like you know what i'm saying bro you know <laughs> i personally I mean, there's I all would kinds play of that. creative attorneys guys read boy doesn't actually play without amos's guys come on come on <laughs> they believe it though i know um, they do i know they do cool one? like if you had to no, choose uh like let's say you oh, had to do my. trios but you had to choose two people from your chat that aren't streamers Nah. That'd be crazy. Yeah, that's, that's always like the biggest rig. Like, oh, I picked this guy who's random, and like, you know, he's just a demon. Like, it just uh, <laughs> it could be. Well, yeah, like <laughs> Shifty would sub the Diaz and be like, <laughs> yeah, no, uh, no, 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 no. couldn't do that though. There'd be was, rules. Uh, uh, Baka Rampage. Oh, what's good? You're on my roster. Yeah, like, you know. <laughs> There'd be rules. <laughs> but like, Aiden, Aiden, Adrian, you guys think people would play a no aim assist type of tournament? Um, I know Biffle wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> um i i think i think warzone is so money incentivized you would have to put some sort of money up for people to play it i personally would play it like what aiden said would biffle play it probably not um i i don't know personally speaking i would play it that sounds i mean it sounds cool fun for, to me for like... viewership as well it sounds dope we're gonna say aiden I was going to say, yeah, pretty much what he said. Like, I mean, that's something I would definitely play. I mean, I, I can't imagine I, I could. I, it's got to be entertaining for chat. Like if we were to play no aim assist, I, I feel like you see a lot of people get exposed, but it's like it's not that serious. You know, it's yeah. not like your career is over or anything, but um, I, would, I, I, I think it sounds fun. I think I think leading up into World Series Warzone, we need to try like new things. Um, and then like once World Series Warzone gets announced, obviously a lot of people are locked in. They're like trios or whether it's trios or duos or whatever. You know, people are just grinding the Twitter tourneys or big you know big tourneys. They want to be like World Series Warzone practice. So I do hear you on the Hector. It'd be fun to like try new things. You know, and I wish like there's a little bit more, I guess like structure to it. You know, like, yeah. like what's coming and stuff. I mean, um, a, dude, a tournament. I thought I don't know if this is like crazy. If you, oh you can cook me if you want, but <laughs> it'd be sweet to like customs are like what 34 teams. I would mm -hmm. be sweet to take like the top like like trios and like oh, let's say I remember you told me this. and then <laughs> and then make each player their own captain and they have to go pick up two new people just to like change teams up so like oh, yeah, Aiden, a Aiden Adrian and like uh let's say you guys are third as youngsters like you guys are obviously a top trio you guys would all three be captains and then you'd have to go pick up two other people that aren't a part a part of like the 34 captains Mm -hmm. like i don't know if that makes sense that'd be cool just to like yeah, make yeah, yeah. so all the top teams are all split they're their own captain and then they get to pick up two other people i feel like that'd be cool just to change up teams i don't know just thinking of like different things yeah yeah i kind of yeah, i think you were thinking of the one i was talking about where like the top half split yeah, the so that, that was half. crazy yeah, yeah. so pretty much jago had said like it'd be cool if you could categorize teams as like, is this what you're saying jago as like like top tier teams and then like it teams and well, then like based off performance based off their performance yeah 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 it wouldn't be like anyone making a judgment call it's literally how they showed up to a tournament of week one of the tournament for example yeah, yeah. And, then, and then you'd have like like uh and you would even out the brackets and you'd have one like let's say four good teams on one side with four bad teams and then you do the same thing like like on the opposite side right uh, oh no that was a different one that was for like uh, like a final four type stuff okay that was okay. a march madness no the one i was talking about where like the first third um if you were in the first third you have to team up with somebody in the second third and the in the bottom third so basically mm -hmm. it would change up the entire rotation and obviously if you were in the top third three weeks in a row or whatever then definitely you'd be the reason why those teams were in the top but yeah. if you were in the top team and then you fell out and now you're all of a sudden in the bottom, well, maybe you're kind of, like, it would be hard to stay in the top unless you were the good people.
Craft yeah. tournaments need to happen more too. Craft. Those are fun, yeah. dude. And I know yeah. people's feelings are going to get hurt or whatever, but they, they really are just so well, fun. Like, I know the thing on the back end when I've worked with the tournaments where they do the draft stuff, the hardest part is getting streamers to coordinate their schedules to actually draft. That's insane, really? It is insane. They don't want to do it. They, they don't want to, you know, obviously they got to interrupt it for a non-paid portion of like the tournament, yeah. essentially. Like, like, okay, there's no look, winnings in, in drafting, I, I you can know? Get, yeah. Because I, <laughs> I've been involved in a lot of this. I can tell you this because I know Shanice's blood is boiling right now. Like <laughs> people don't like, we've gotten feedback for draft tournaments and people don't fucking like it. People okay. don't play in them. People hate yeah. them. Because they, they have that feedback and that's fine. Okay. I yes, know yes. That. Thank you, Shanice. Yeah, Shanice knows. Like people know, like whenever we do drafts, because we have all these crazy ideas that, you know, tournaments that want to be thrown. But the bottom line comes down to will you guys play in it right like for example bro i i i i study a lot of the apex community and the way they run things they are playing scrims consistently right and it, they do it for free for no money for no money what is it gonna take right when, when Fortnite's the same we, yeah when what's is the war zone gets announced do you guys actually think people are gonna want to play let's say monday wednesday friday scrims I, I would love to do them daily. I, mean, I will run everything. I will set up the Discord. I will run that. I will get admins to do everything. Well, but will people play? I think play it, it is a little bit different for Apex because most of them are signed to orgs, which pay them yeah. money, which yeah, have a responsibility it's... to show up. It's not like they're doing it for free. It's it's like in in like it's part of they're like almost contractually obligated to show up <laughs> yeah. to get their pay, especially if such and such org is paying them X amount of dollars per month or season or split or whatever the hell they also have a crazy prize pool that they're playing for it's not like you know they're like their hours that they put in that you could say they're unpaid let's say it's they're not getting paid by their org they're putting in that time because they know they're going to get paid on the end back end of things where it's like it, it was worth the hour, hourly rate that they were working to practice and scrim oh is it chalked for me to even try to do that yes for, for them yeah i hate to yeah. hear the bad news uh, but yes absolutely and they like, ask me why unless warzone all of a sudden had a hundred players that were signed to orgs and then it was coordinated and there was a league and the org and was like you need to do this they'll show up right yeah <laughs> but until we get there it's it's chopped dude it's chopped. this is the thing like I, I i i've i said that last year right and i was like i'll do it i'll do it and everybody's like yes dude do it do it and then then i have a bunch of people nah we won't do it nobody's gonna sign up because why play a free custom that's hyper competitive when you can go play a twenty dollar dojo, and like, like they're, they're people would much rather go play that and at least win a little bit of money, right? Like, I, I don't know. It sucks to hear that because I want to put on for the community and I want right. to try to do these things, but the community just doesn't care. I'm be honest, bro. We tried to do customs a week before World Tears of War Zone. We couldn't <laughs> fill it up. How is that possible? Like, think about it. Like, uh, I, don't, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know what it's gonna take boys i don't know but yeah and anyways man um uh i i'm i think we kind of went over everything bro i guess is there any like final thoughts on um what you i don't know what you guys want to see we'll see the war zone hopefully coming out soon i don't I, I think we've had this conversation with a couple other people in the podcast but resurgence we'll see the war zones hell nah I, I, I wouldn't mind low key. No what? way! Honestly, oh Bob, listen, so, listen, listen. Ahead, I wouldn't mind a, a duos World Series of Warzone. No, that'd be fire. Oh, that'd yeah. be so fire. I agree with that more than I do Resurgence World Series yes, of Warzone. Hundred percent. I think because uh, at least when Fortnite did their biggest whatever tournament back in the day, they had the solos, duos, trios, and quads, and they obviously that's on the back end. I don't even know if Call of Duty probably don't even care enough to do that portion of it, where it's that many tournaments going on. But like it's kind of cool because then you could be in multiple categories and like, but then you get more people too. So yeah, uh, you're talking. Yeah, I mean, I, I think obviously we've talked about this in every single person. You're the first person, agent, that said like I, I wouldn't mind, but everybody said like, don't you dare do resurgence World Series of Warzone. So like, but agent, tell me why you you wouldn't mind it. Resurgence? Yeah, resurgence World Series of Warzone. I feel like it's just something different. I think it would open up. Uh a lot of different i would say a lot of different teams and just a different play style compared to big as big map playing as a trio for um, for clarification you mean in addition to the standard trio that we had last year or in in place instead of? i'm talking about instead so agent you're saying you would rather have a resurgence world series of warzone instead of a br world series of warzone i mean i i 
not instead, but I wouldn't mind. Like I, I wouldn't sit there and okay. complain a, a cl complain about it. Right, right. I honestly don't think they go resurgence way, just because they already. <laughs> I feel like resurgence <laughs> caters more to more to casual players. Yeah, yeah. Which could mean a bigger audience. You never know, right? Um, but yes, I do. I, I, you're the first person that said that. Which I mean, it's good to have different opinions. What about you, Aiden? Um. I personally like. Uh, I feel like World Series of Warzone is really like our competitive. Like that's our like that's our biggest tournament tournament of the year. I would love to just keep it on the big map. I wouldn't mind duos or trios, but I don't know when you're just like throwing that much money on the on the biggest tournament tournament of the year on like the least competitive like map. I just feel like it's just weird. I I don't know. I would love to just keep it on the big map, but like you guys said, I'm all for trying out like duos and you know seeing the teams kind of switch and again there's like different storylines you already know there's gonna be beef someone's getting dropped for someone like, <laughs> i'm down I for duos say, on the though, big map. that if they choose a map it'd have to be fortune's keep <laughs> yeah yeah is what would you guys from from most competitive to least competitive i guess i don't know if you can put vano in there that's just for hypothetical let's throw vano in there one, two, and three from most competitive to least competitive. How would you guys rank the current resurgence, resurgence? maps? Yeah. I think for competitive, right? Competitive. For competitive only. Not not for pubs. Competitive like we'll say. Dude, I, I this this new Fortune's Keep map is ass, bro. I'm telling you, I don't think it's good. I don't <laughs> I think, think it's good. I think you're the only the old, one that doesn't like no, it. No, I'm telling you that whole ground zero, it's a it's that's a the only slow part. That's the only funnel. slow part of the map. It's like a V and it used to be a circle. So you couldn't just like if you were down there, you're just getting looked at. It used to be where a circle where if you were down there, you could actually use it as playable area. Um but so I, I, I me personally, I'd say Vondel and then Fortunes and then Rebirth. So Vondel, Fortunes, and then Rebirth at the yeah. bottom, right? From most, okay. How about you, J-God? So I would say Fortunes Keep, and it sounds odd, but the way the map lays out, I think it'd play well competitively, which is a Sheikah. That's the problem why it doesn't play well for oh, I, I completely forgot about a Sheikah. I'm not even trolling. Then Vondel, <laughs> then I put Vondel, and then I put Rebirth last. Rebirth last? Okay, what about you, Aiden? I think it's the least competitive map. Mm. I'm kind of torn between Vondel and Fortunes because, like, I, I, I didn't mind the way Fortunes played out in ranked. And didn't we play like a huge hundred k tournament on Fortunes? That was a two v two. I know it was the old something. one. Yeah, it was a. Was it a two v two? I thought we played a huge trio custom. Didn't Soko win it? And it was like on Fortune. It was on the old Fortunes keep. I it thought was that the, that played. I don't know. Was that hundred k CDLR? That was yeah. Was that, that custom was in, or no? Sage. And bailed, yeah, and bailed Clamp and Sage. Oh, okay. I'm tweaking. Uh. I don't know between Vondel and Fortunes. Like I think either of them would be pretty good. I can't. I don't know. I can't rank one of the, over the other. And then yeah, Rebirth last. Rebirth last. Wise. Yeah. Okay. Uh, lucky. I don't think you've even played ranked. I'm telling he's you. Even, you haven't played Vondel play ranked. It. It's really bad. Lucky. Rebirth ranked is really bad. <laughs> go ahead, Adrian. Go ahead. Lucky's hilarious. Um. <laughs> I would say Fortunes keep Vondel and Rebirth. Okay. Hey, oh, oh, she could in the mix dude don't even bro ashiko, ashiko over um rebirth. rebirth for sure okay so you said vondel fortunes or did you say fortunes vondel uh, fortunes vondel ashika rebirth rebirth okay all right all right yeah i mean i feel like it's pretty i, I, I think we all have said the same thing just like it's one of those okay if the, it is a resurgence one series of war zone like will it bring more eyes by if they were to do it on rebirth even though it would be literally horrible like horrible but like more ice right or do you do something oh. like fortunes keep dude which is they, you know? they just need to keep world series of war zone and this is coming from somebody who's a resurgence creator like i only play resurgence like that's all i stream it's all i upload like keep world series big map and then if they want to do resurgence tournaments they can do a cdlr like or that's the way it should be it's how it should be dude it was a juicer when we had caldera and then right after a month after we had a fortunes keep 100k cdlr that was a juicer of a couple months bro it was so sick. It, that that's, CDLR had just as much hype as World Series, and we got to do both. Like that, that's the way. The prize pool. That's the way but, it should be, man. Is like yeah. you have three to four months. Let's say last year, what was it from uh, eight, May, right? May through uh, September or whatever. Like four months of BR, and then that ends. World Series Warzone ends, and after that, two to three months of resurgence co competition CDLR. If there's a way to do like like eight months of competitive but split up into half like half a resurgence world series warzone then half uh br world series Warzone. i think that would be the best 
of both worlds. I know we're, yeah. we're praying to the gods right over here. Who knows if we even get a World Series of Wars on this year? But <laughs> like, I think that would be the best of both worlds. I don't know, Aiden, Adrian, would you guys rather have them integrated together? For example, like one big event with like Saturday's resurgence, like finals, Sunday is BR finals or whatever, or would you rather have them completely split up the two? I per I think completely split. Okay. Yeah. I think it just makes the most sense in putting them together. It's just kind of weird. Okay. Right. I would say split as well. Yeah. But having like a a two, let's say like two, three day event for World Series would be dope. Ima imagine like a four day event, bro. I think that's that what would, Apex that would be is. Sick as fuck. I believe Apex is a four day event. I think it's like it's they I invite double the amount that's in the lobby. So if it's like 99, it'd be 200 or whatever. And then they dwindle it down across four days into like a championship Sunday, I believe. I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, chat, but I'm pretty sure that's the way it is. Um, but I don't know, man. Look, bro, we, we, I, we keep talking about competitive and ranked and all that stuff and just in general, but we have no announcements yet and, uh, and no announcements either for any tournaments anytime soon. And so um, I know I know we had eight weeks or whatever of, of tournaments and hopefully we get that going again. But I'm really excited, man. I hope to hear an announcement very soon. It is April 11th at the moment, and last year was April 6th when they announced. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, I, 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 we'll see, man. We'll see. But any final thoughts, man? Aiden, Adrian, uh, any last-minute things you guys kind of want to bring up before we conclude for the day? I love uh, Call of Duty. <laughs> I do love Call of Duty. No, honestly, just the main things just like that I'd love for the game to change right now is like... Um, the ground loop being changed a little bit more frequently like new metas and stuff i think that's one thing that just like would keep the, the game fresh without even really having to do too much um and then like big map just some big map love get some ranked in there you know before world series hopefully that's the play like ebates was saying like perfect roadmap if that's the way it goes so that that's kind of kind of what i'm looking for just waiting for world series and stuff to be announced okay all right adrian what about you man <laughs> new meta <laughs> I, I, need a, sleep. I need a new meta, bro. <laughs> new meta? I, I do like eBay's roadmap for sure. I feel like, I don't know, just back to, I'm just not really a resurgence, like, yeah. fanatic. I, 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 I prefer big map over anything, for sure. Okay. But definitely need should, some big map love. You should have that option to play both. I think that's the issue, is that we've been right. so focused on one or the other. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I feel like we're really forced into resurgence right yeah. now. You know, ranked is on it. Like, no update on the big map. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's like, no one, yeah. there's nothing to do on the big map they, right they, now. They added ladders. They added ladders. Added ladders. I know. They added the ladders. Hey, mid-season, you're going to get some bunkers. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't worry. <laughs> oh, man, bro. Yo, what about you, Jay God, man? What, what, what you thinking? So, obviously, we talked about some of the basic stuff that's just, like, surface level um, with the meta and the floor loot, whatever. But I think, inevitably, hopefully, within the next few seasons they keep doing the the changes to the aim stuff that aim sway nonsense yeah that gets continued to fix hopefully remove backpacks entirely um and then just give you allow you to hold eight by default and then if you get a plate carrier you can hold 12 or whatever so you still get your normal i think that just streamlines the gameplay loop um the change to the either tax sprint reset when you when you slide cancel uh just just do it like you know it's it's there and then um what's the last thing I think there's one more bunny hopping that's it, uh, it was, they, they mentioned in your guy your interview with them yeah, with get it done. where's it where's it been done i'm get with it done. you so on that bro that's, the, that's my small like list of like if they did that like there's no way anyone could complain about like the game there's no way there's just no way you think they bro, will I, bring back bunny hopping they already told you they would they said they yeah. would but it's it doesn't matter bro maybe it's uh season seven Hey, about to go crazy. Season four is about to go crazy. <laughs> yeah. oh, I mean, that's my that's my short list of this is what's missing from Warzone One, basically. Yeah. Damn. Okay. All right. All right. Even so about you, man. <laughs> um, I think closing thoughts. You know, I want to see. I do want to see the big map like thrive. Even though, like I said, I don't play it, but as a viewer, I do enjoy like competitive on that side of things, and also like just good nuke grinds you know i don't know i just think big map does need some love it needs a lot of love um so hopefully we can get that in season four hopefully big map rain comes out a world series of Warzone announcement oh. some good stuff but other than that i mean dude i'm super happy with rebirth i think rebirth pubs have been amazing and i'm super grateful for that but ground loot needs to be fixed the the other thing 
The other one that almost slipped my mind is the vehicles. Oh, dude, like, I was going to talk on that, man. Bro, they've been updated there. twice since season or whatever, since Warzone 3, and I c c honestly couldn't tell you the difference. I was going to say that, dude. They feel we were, so bad still. We were talking about Verdansk earlier, dude. I, why aren't the vehicles like, why don't we just get the old vehicles, So that's man? the short list. That plus that one other line in there. That's it. Oh, vehicles, yes. Vehicles would <laughs> be a huge, huge upgrade. I, there's a lot of things I think that they're... <laughs> That in Warzone 1 were definitely far superior. And I know they've changed a lot of them, but you're right. Vehicles do suck. And again, man, I, I don't know. Only time will tell what I, I, I've maybe it's just me being just I don't know if this is pessimistic, but just like everything last year and how how like we wanted changes for so long and they just never really happened last year to where now I've kind of just accepted, at least for me, I've accepted that no big changes are going to come until next year. That's like I feel like one thing I've learned over the last three years is we can so we can give suggestions, all this stuff, but like any big, big, huge changes, I don't think will happen because whatever they, whatever, let's say last year was Infinity Ward, whatever they want to do is what they want to do. And there's no stopping that for right now. Sledgehammer, whatever they want to do is what they want to do. And there's nothing like, I don't think they'll, they'll, maybe they'll budge on one or two things, but like a complete rework. I don't know. Vehicles, I think that's an easy ask. At least I feel like. So, but Jay God, you seem like you want to say something. Well, the only other thing is last year we were talking about season four for the entire year. And then when season four came, it actually did make dramatic changes. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if that's their workflow where it takes that long to actually enact something. Because yeah. I know it does take a while from conception of the idea to actually right. put it into the game. So maybe season four is actually cooking. Maybe there is something going on. Maybe there will be hey, some I'm other changes. I'm telling you, season four is about to be huge. We're about to get a World Series. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And plus, I, I, big map I, I, brand. Jay confirmed. Jay got confirmed. <laughs> hey, I, I, no, no, no. Thank God. Leak God, leak God. Leak God, I wish, I wish. <laughs> Anyways, boys, boys, thank you guys, man, for hopping on the podcast today. Aiden, Adrian, I I'll let you guys know. I try to make it short and sweet today because I know you guys got it ranked to grind and shit. I know you guys going to get number one and two, you know. Uh, but, boys, thank y'all for hopping on the podcast, man. J God, Ebates, you know, I love you guys. Hey, and everybody Sorry. at home, we'll catch you guys in the next one. What do we got next week? Just out of nothing, right? I don't think there's any big... Nothing announced yet. Not unless they surprise us. We got the one K. <laughs> we got the one K rebirth switcheroo coming up. Stay tuned. One K switcheroo. <laughs> you know, the Detri hey, about to go crazy next week. Oh, I can't lie. <laughs> Boys, we'll be back next week with another podcast. More than likely, we'll be cooking up a competitive rule set podcast. Um, mm -hmm. We'll probably try to get that in the works next next week. And, and all the boys, hope you guys are down. Aiden, you look like you gotta go take a shit. So I everybody, in, so, so bad, everybody bro. in the chat, everybody <laughs> at YouTube, I'll catch you guys later. We gotta go, Aiden, go pee, paste, paste, paste. Peace. <laughs>